He's gonna find him. Ho, 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 ho. Hi, I'm Kat, and I hate horror movies. And today, we're watching Seven. Seven what? We're gonna find out. I don't know anything about this movie other than the fact that Brad Pitt is in it and Morgan Freeman is in it. Can't think of anything else I might want from a movie. Let's get into it. Sharp. Don't forget your fancy knife. He's meticulous. That's what we're supposed to glean from that moment. Neighbors heard them screaming at each other like for two hours, there was nothing new. Then they heard the gun go off. Detective Somerset? Nah, no one's eyes are upset. I just came in town 20 minutes ago, they dumped me here. Look, um, Bill, why here? Yes, the same reasons as you. The same reasons you had before you decided to quit, yeah? You're calling the shots, Lieutenant. Yes. I've worked homicide five years. Not here. I understand that. Well, over the next seven days, Detective, you'll do me the favor of remembering that. Rookie cop and the retiring lieutenant. A uh, classic duo. New Line Cinema presents... Now that and these are some horror credits. With the scratchy writing. Oh no! Don't like that. Gwyneth Paltrow is in this! Huh. Haven't seen a Gwyneth Paltrow movie in a long time. Shakespeare in Love, anyone? It's gruesome. David Fincher. Pre tied. Smart. When that's all you have to do to fix your hair. <laughs> Hello? Coffee? No? <laughs> Waste of good coffee! That's the real horror of this movie. Wasted coffee. I didn't touch anything. But he's had his face in a plate of spaghetti for about 45 minutes now. Uh. What's your favorite meal? <laughs> the worst job what got a bucket here what's in it <laughs> any blood in it i i didn't see any help yourself detective mills would you go help the officers question the neighbors send in forensics on your way out please ah better luck next time rookie Oh. He's dead. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> Just don't be jerking me off. That's all I ask. Don't jerk me off. That's all he asks. He's been dead a long time. It was not a poison. Avert your gaze. See how big this stomach is? This man ate till he burst. He didn't really burst. What about these bruises up here? Gun pressed against his head? Pressed hard enough, sure. Oh, yeah. Marks from the front side flush with the muzzle. We have ourselves a homicide. Put a bucket beneath him, kept on serving. Took his time, too. And there was definitely a point when he passed out. That's when the killer kicked him and he burst. If you want somebody dead, you drive by and shoot him. You don't risk the time it takes to do this, unless the act itself has meaning. I'd like to be reassigned. What? 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 Whoa. This can't be my last duty. It's just gonna go on and on and on. You're retiring. Six more days and you're all the way gone. This should not be his first assignment. Oh, come on. I knew it. This is not my first assignment, you dick. It's too you soon for it. Dick. Hey, man. I don't have anyone else to put on this, and you know it. This is Metro. You don't just get to swap. 
They have their very best men on this. This will be the very definition of swift justice. <sighs> Painted it with a paintbrush. Have you heard the news? Eli Gould was found murdered this morning. Someone broke into his law firm and bled him to death. Wrote the word greed on the floor. Greed? Yeah, in blood. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me? Could you not do that, please? <laughs> Just doing my job. <laughs> what in the hell are you going to do with yourself out there, Somerset? Oh, I'll work. Maybe on the farm. Let him retire. Don't guilt him. Oh, uh, coroner sent this down for you. Found him in fat boy's stomach. Jeez, he had a name. They were fed to him. You've piqued my interest. Just retire. You got nothing to prove. Fridges. Always opening creepy fridges. Greed and gluttony. This was found on the wall behind the refrigerator. The obesity murder scene. There are seven deadly sins, Captain. Gluttony. <laughs> greed. <laughs> sloth, wrath, pride, lust, and envy. You can expect five more of these. Easy. Round up the lazy people. You know? Be like, one of you are next. Round up everyone who's ever been jealous of anything. Narrow it down. <laughs> They're so screwed. <sighs> You'll do better if you work together, you know? Put your heads together. Oh, sorry. Be out of your way in a second. Come on, team up, come together. My wife. Sorry? She'd like to speak to you. Fight him over for dinner or something. I don't know. He's new in town. Make friends. Bye. On what? <laughs> well? It's Trace. Trace and Somerset. Hello. William, I'd like you to meet David. David. This okay. is good. All right, She's I'm gonna sweet. I'll be right back. How are the kids? They're good. Oh, oh, oh I was like, they have kids? They're... <laughs> they do. Got three of them. I understand you two were high school sweethearts. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. I knew on our first date that this was the guy I was gonna marry. Really? Mm-hmm. He was the funniest guy I'd ever met. I had to look past his unfortunate looks, but he was funny. Anyone who spends a significant amount of time with me finds me disagreeable. Just ask your husband. <laughs> very, very true. How are you liking it? You know, it takes time. I don't like it. Well, you get numb after a while. There are things to any city. Subway. Burst up laughing about it. Fair enough. They'll come together no, over that. <laughs> which we which we like. All right already. <laughs> Look at this. Gould was bound. Right arm was left free. He was handed a butcher's knife. Check out the scale. Pound of flesh? Yeah. yeah. One pound of flesh. No more, no less. There's a gun in your face. 
Which part of your body is expendable? About the love handle. Cut along the side of his own stomach. Wow. I don't know if I would have chosen anything on my abdomen. You can make a mistake, you know? You don't want to nick anything in your stomach. That's a swift death. These murders are like forced attrition. It's when you regret your sins, but not because you love God. Or like because someone's sticking a gun in your face. Totally unrelated victims. Yep. And no witnesses of any kind. Which I don't get. Gould's wife. She was out of town at the time. So this means she saw something. I don't see anything. Look harder. I, I just, I can't do this right now. To be fair, that's fair. Wait. What? Here, this painting, it's upside down. That's so creepy. You sure your man didn't move this? No, 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 no. The shots were taken before forensic. His fancy knife. Ah, he's f***ing with us. That's what he's doing. Something is amiss. Just wait a minute. You're kidding me. Call the print lab. Honestly, have you ever seen anything like this? No. Well, I can tell you guys, just by looking at the swell pattern, not the victim's fingerprints. Don't try to tell me you didn't get that brush tonight. We're getting somewhere. Cute. Wake up, Glimmer twins. We've got a winner. We got a winner. This guy goes by the name of Victor. His prints were found at the scene by homicide. Parents gave him a very strict Southern Baptist upbringing. But somewhere along the line, they fell short. I'm not buying all this, are you? Doesn't seem like our guy, does it? But then how did the real murderer get this guy's fingerprints? Is what I'd like to know. I wonder if this guy's the next victim. This murderer just wants you to find them all. Swat goes before dicks. They love this. They love this. <laughs> Get up now, mother No! You got it all wrong. You got it all wrong. Ah! Ah! <coughs> Dex! All the air fresheners. Is it a forest motif, or did he just want to bury the smell? What the hell? That's yeah, just Victor. Call an ambulance. This picture was dated three days ago. This must be the first one. Dated exactly one year ago today. I got a hair sample, I got a stool, I got piss. He's laughing at us. You got what you deserved. <laughs> Don't shoot him! Don't shoot him! <laughs> I knew he was alive because they didn't didn't check. Remember in the first scene where they're like, did you check? They locked him in bed a year ago? Made him lay there for a year? No matter how hard it is, we have to remain focused on hey, the man, details, I feel okay? Blind motions. How's that? Unless I can hear you. Excuse me. Hey, what are you doing? Close crime scene. Get the, Get the heck out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Loser. What are you, the press? Get out of here. I got you a picture. Oh, yeah? Detective Mills. M-I-L-L-S. Yeah. Oh, they pissed me off. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. It's impressive to see a man feeding off his emotions. Even if his brain were not mush, which it is, he chewed off his own tongue long ago. He's experienced about as much pain and suffering as anyone I've encountered. And he still has hell to look forward to. Right. So he didn't get murdered. Tracy? Is everything all right? I need someone to talk to. Do you think you could meet me somewhere maybe tomorrow morning? Yeah, okay. Mmm, uh... breakfast Sammy's. My favorite. I'll get used to things. I think I just, 
I wanted to talk to someone who's lived here for a long time. She's not enjoying her time there. Why don't you tell me what's really bothering you, Tracy? David and I are gonna have a baby. I don't think I'm the... I'm the one to talk to about this. I hate this city. <sighs> but if you choose to have this baby, then you spoil that kid every chance you get. You gotta sit here, rotting, waiting till the lunatic does it again. It's dismissive to call him a lunatic. Don't make that mistake. Imagine the will it takes to keep a man bound for a full year. This guy's methodical, exacting, worst of all, patient. He's a nutbag. Underestimating him. Just because of the f has got a library card doesn't make him Yoda. This is very creepy. It's a deal. Better now. The guy in the pizza parlor is a friend from the bureau. Who stinky man? And for years, the FBI has been up into the library system keeping records. Mm-hmm. Assessing fines. No. Monitoring reading habits. Certain books are flagged. Books on, say, nuclear weapons and well, Mein Kampf. Has his library records fed into the FBI's computers from then on? Wait, wait, wait. How is this legal? You can't use the information directly. It's just a useful guide. You can't get a library card without an ID in a current phone book. The FBI's computers will tell us. <gasps> Could give us a name. Brilliant. We're gonna name some college kid writing a term paper on 20th century crime. Nice. It's a good lead. There it is. He wrote about the seven deadly sins. Stripe. Jonathan Doe. Whatever. Jonathan Doe? Ah, uh, we'll just talk to him. Uh -huh. Excuse me, sir. Are you by any chance a serial killer? Mills. Well, they know it's a man. It's gonna be a classic mislead, or? Turn around. <clears throat> it's too late. Yeah. It's too late. Get pictures, get pictures. No, ow, man. They found him, and it's a man, and he runs like an idiot. So that narrows it down. Well, at least they know what apartment he lives in. They know everything now about him. They know what apartment he lives in. He's been shot. You shot him, you got him, you got him. Get him, get him, get him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Oh, wow. Risky. <laughs> no, oh, he's been run over. No, he's fine. He'll be all right. They lost him. They're going to lose him. Go up to his apartment, see what you can find. Oh, he's still on the, he's still on the job. He's an adept climber. Don't kill Brad Pitt. Don't do it. You don't want to. He's gonna. All right. We need a warrant. We got probable cause. Come on. Think about it. We got probable cause. How do we get here? You're right. Stupid. That was stupid. I mean, I get it, but... How much money we got left? 
So you called Detective Somerset, right? Yeah, right, right, right. So I called, called a Somerset. detective because this guy was looking creepy and sh happened right over there. Okay, okay, it happened okay. right over there. I, I told you the rest. I you got the it? Cops. Good? Yeah, Everything? Yeah, All right, have a sign. You got a sign, huh? They're going to throw it out. I did what you said. Here you go. You get oh, something to eat, oh, all right? Oh. You eat. That's going to bite them in the butt. Probably, right? <sighs> Hello. Well, they found him. He's obviously a religious man with a lot of aspirin, you know, who is prone to migraines. Oh, here they are. We're about to find out who's next. Who is that? Oh, that's the sloth, the ha sloth's hand. Wow, beautiful penmanship. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? What are you having? F the top in front of the stairs. You sure this is him? Yeah, good, good. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Here we are. All right. Good. I bet you're really glad you told him your full name. And you're yes. probably not going to believe this. We haven't found a fingerprint yet. You're right. I don't believe you. Keep looking. That's weird. There's not a single fingerprint. We could use some more men here. Hey, man, I'm doing the best I can. There are 2,000 notebooks on these shelves, and each notebook contains about 250 pages. No, I know, I know, I know. He's got a phone, which means he's got a provider. Find out who's providing. People, quiet! Hello? I admire you. I'll be readjusting my schedule in light of today's little setback. I feel like saying more, but I don't want to ruin the surprise. He recorded it. Brilliant genius. He's too good to retire. They can't lose him. Who's the blonde? Looks like a pro. Yeah, he came and collected it last night. Last night? Yeah. Just you know, man. I think I undercharged him, actually. You made this for him? They found the blonde. The picture! The picture! Pigs. <laughs> Get this thing off of me! You heard nothing strange. You saw nothing strange. No. He asked me if I was married. <laughs> and I, I could see he had a gun in his hand. The prostitute. Where was she? Someone comes to your establishment. One go downstairs. They want to get a little ooh la la. They got to come to you. Some guys are carrying suitcases full of stuff. She was just, she was just sitting on the bed. <laughs> Tied her down. You or him? Do you like what you do for a living? No, I don't. But that's life, isn't it? He made me do it. Oh, God, he had a gun in my mouth. This isn't going to have a happy ending. Hey, man, we catch him, I'll be happy enough. Man, they've seen things. What a week. What do you got? Sliced her up. And he bandaged her. Call for help and you'll live. But you'll be disfigured. Or you can put yourself out of your own misery. Come on. Cut off her nose. Despite her face. Very recently. I've decided to stay on till this is done. Either we'll get John Doe, or he'll finish his series of seven, and this case will go on for years. We knew he wasn't gonna go anywhere. Who are you, you sneak? No big surprise. Detective! You're looking for me. I know you. Now! Get out! 
What's the game? What is your game? Something is amiss. I'd like to speak to my lawyer, please. God damn! He cuts the skin off the tips of his fingers. That's why we couldn't find What about the trace on his bank accounts? And the guns? So far, everything's a dead end. About the only thing we know about that guy is he's independently wealthy, well-educated, and totally insane. I'm telling you, there's no way he would just turn himself in. He's just pissing in our faces and we're just taking it like idiots. First time ever. You and I are in total agreement. I said that too. Something is amiss. We're all in agreement. He's two murders away from completing his masterpiece. We'll wait for his plea. My client says there are two more bodies. He will take Detectives Mills and Somerset to these bodies, but only Detectives Mills and Somerset, only at six o'clock today. Why us? He says he admires you. Part of the game. If the detectives do not accept this offer, these two bodies will never be found. I'm inclined to let them rot. We've got him. If you do accept, under his specific conditions, he will sign a full confession, plead guilty right now. Full confession. I'm in. It has to be the both of you. They'll be escorting an unarmed man. But this is, he's playing a game. <laughs> Just a casual chest Seen shaving session? Shave off a nipple, would it be covered by workman's comp? What an interesting choice for a scene right now, to have two grown, handsome men shaving their chests. I keep coming home late, my wife's gonna think something's up. God forbid they found bodies with hairs on their chests. Wouldn't look nice in photos. Oh, it's for the mics. God, that really made no sense to me. So I'm very glad that I now understand. Don't wanna rip, rip anything off, ouchie. <laughs> what is his game? Why'd he turn himself in? Smart. Bulletproof vest. Very smart. I don't think he has accomplices, though. Doesn't strike me as the bring a friend kind of guy. He's not armed. He's not gonna lead them into a trap. He's gonna lead them into some kind of a trap. He's, he's rigged it or something. He's rigged it in such a way. I don't think he's interested in just killing willy-nilly. He's he's fulfilling his, his, his plan. Why is he taking them? Who oh, I am means absolutely nothing. You need to stay on your left up here. So where are we heading? You'll see. We're not just going to pick up two more dead bodies, are we, John? Wanting people to listen, you can't just tap them on the shoulder anymore. You have to hit them with a sledgehammer. People will barely be able to comprehend, but they won't be able to deny. Could the freak be any more vague? So when this big thing happens, you be sure and let me know, because I wouldn't want to miss it. Don't worry. You won't miss a thing. How did he get so far out of the city to plant these bodies? Like, don't, didn't they have all of his money? Did he rent a car? Like, did he, like, I don't understand. What's so exciting? It's not too far now. Being followed with backup? Okay, I'm less scared about a trap now. When a person is insane, as you clearly are, do you know that you're insane? Maybe you're just sitting around, reading guns and ammo, masturbating in your own feces. Do you just stop and go, it is amazing how crazy I really am? It's more comfortable for you to label me insane. It's not something I would expect you to accept, but I did not choose. I was chosen. Whatever. Nothing wrong with a man taking pleasure in his work. I won't deny my own personal desire to turn each sin against the sinner. All you did was kill innocent people. Innocent? An obese man? A disgusting man? Who and after him, I picked the lawyer, and you both must have secretly been thanking me for that one. Let's not forget the disease-spreading whore. But that's the point. We see a deadly sin on every street corner, in every home, and we tolerate it. Not anymore. I'm setting the example, and what I've done is going to be puzzled over and studied forever. Yeah. You should be thanking me. Why is that, John? 
because you're going to be remembered after this. Realize, detective, the only reason that I'm here right now is that I want it to be. Yes. You're only alive because I didn't kill you. Not wrong. I spared you. Sit back. Remember that, detective, every time you look in the mirror at that face of yours for the rest of your life. You're no messiah. You're a, you're a movie of the week. You're a t-shirt at best. All the cards are in his hands. He's orchestrated. Don't ask me to pity those people. I don't mourn them any more than I do the thousands that died at Sodom and Gomorrah. What you were doing was God's good work. The Lord works in mysterious ways. He's been orchestrating the whole thing. How did he get all the way out here to dump bodies? <sighs> Which two sins are left? Slowly. Ah. What do you got? Dead dog. I didn't do that. <laughs> I was like, what sin is that? <sighs> what time is it? Why? I'd like to know. 701. It'll reveal itself at sunset. It's close. This way. <laughs> They're walking into a trap that they cannot see. He's gonna somehow kill Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman, and they're they're gonna be it. But I don't know why they're a sin. And I don't know how he could kill them without a weapon. Unless he's hired a pal to come and do it. Mills? <gasps> down, 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 down. Okay. It's good we have some time to talk. What? There's a van coming down the road. Coming up. <laughs> Are the bodies being delivered? Is this a delivery? Be ready for anything now. Wait for my signal. Wait for me. Slow down. Slow down your car. <sighs> Get out of the van! Jesus Christ, man, don't shoot me! Step away! I'm just delivering a package, man. I got this package for this guy, Detective David Mills. Gonna be a weapon. This guy paid me 500 bucks to bring it out here, man. We got a box. Call the bomb squad. Get that guy to open it and tell him what's in it. And you stand back. Okay, go. Off you go. Go. Check the rest of his van. Ah. My leg is like shaking. <laughs> what's happening? Don't touch it. He held it and it didn't explode. When I said I admired you, I meant what I said. Fragile. There's blood. You've made quite a life for yourself, detective. <coughs> Here he comes. What? I wish I could have lived like Shut you did. Shut up. Do you hear me, detective? I'm trying to tell you how much I admire you and your pretty wife. What'd you f say? It's disturbing how easily a member of the press can purchase information from the men in your precinct. I visited your home this morning. After you'd left. I tried to play husband. I took a souvenir. Her pretty head. Give me your gun. What's going on over there? Who's in the box? I envy your normal life. Put the gun down, baby. It seems that envy is my sin. No, oh, what's in the box? He just told you. You lie! You're a liar! David. Shut up! Come vengeance, David. It's all right. You tell me. You come wrath. If you murder a suspect, David. No! No! She begged for her life. Shut up. And for the life of the baby inside of her. <gasps> he didn't know. 
Oh, it's a lose lose! David. If you Jack. kill him, mate. He will win. Oh god! Oh god! That's why he signed the plea deal. He was so f confident all the way through. So confident all the way through, and he won. We'll take care of him. Whatever he needs. Where are you going to be? I'll be around. Ernest Hemingway once wrote, the world is a fine place and worth fighting for. I agree with the second part. Wow, that was a pretty brilliant movie. I guess that's kind of a masterpiece, that movie, in its own right. Like, are you joking me? Oh my God, that movie was so brilliantly executed. They had him and then he did it. He let him win. He didn't care if he lived or died. That wasn't how to get revenge on him. Ah, you can't control yourself in that moment. You can't control yourself in that moment. I don't think. I'm so I'm kind of speechless a little bit. That's one of the best movies for sure I've ever seen. The story, the plot, the mystery, the performances. Hard to compare another movie to that movie. Wow. Well, I give seven. Seven brilliantly orchestrated psychotic murder spree. Z out of seven. That was a phenomenal performance from Brad Pitt. Really a very phenomenal performance. S -s 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 Thank you so much for watching that with me. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps me a lot and it tells me that you want me to watch more of these. And speaking of more of these, if there's another movie that you want me to watch, don't forget to leave it in the comments. I read them all and it's where I go to get my next movie. I'm gonna go for a walk now. <laughs> but you should watch another one of my videos because this was fun. <laughs> See you soon.